All right, so thanks everyone for coming out. Um, just, I'm going to make some brief closing uh, remarks and then we'll get you all to participate in a bit of a Ross tradition. So as some of you have, uh, actually maybe a, sh a brief show of hands. How many of you is this, is, this is your first RossCon? <laughs> oh my God. Brian, that was everybody, I think, everybody. You and I might be the only people who have been here before. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, oh, shit. So as, as I'm sure all of you have, can gather, this conference really is one of, a, one of a kind. We have people who are just getting into robotics and just getting in with their hobbies, uh, sharing the stage with, with people like Mark Shuttleworth, and you've got brand new startup companies presenting alongside others like Bosch and BMW, multinationals. And we're really saying here that, the, that Ross is the way to unleash a robotics revolution. That's what everybody is saying. And everyone in this room and at past Ross cons is here on the ground floor. And as, as you might even gather, sometimes even the organizers are really caught aback at how fast this is moving, as you can gather by the fact that this conference sold out weeks ahead of time. So we definitely have our hands full to expand this for the next one. Uh, I'd like to have some, uh, some address some thanks out. Um, first and foremost, well not foremost, but definitely um, there, is our sponsors. And first and foremost among them are Canonical and Fetch Robotics, our platinum sponsors. Let's give them a hand. We also, we also have our, our venue staff, as well as Meet Green. Um, you may have seen them running around helping us with the conference organizing. They've been helping us for the last several months with this, and it really made um, our lives a lot easier when it came to this. Um, also, the volunteers that were rounded up and helped with registration and pointing people around, that's really, really quite great. And now, foremost, all attendees, all of you, um, both here, on the live stream, and for those of you who will be watching this in the future, thank you all for your interest. Um, now, I do have, uh, I do have one, one quick story here. This is an email we got about our t-shirts being canceled. Um, can anyone of you see the issue here? Um, that's the issue. <laughs> now, you all have your t-shirts, and this is just one of the many things that uh, Sebastian Rockel, our local chair, had came uh, had, had really come through and helped really deliver and helped us put together a great conference, um, I think just by staring at them. <laughs> you know, those were the only pictures I could find of you. They all look like that. Oh, okay. No, I think it worked. It worked for the t-shirts. It, we actually went with a different, we managed to get a completely different vendor to print the t-shirts in time. That was about two weeks ago. Um, next steps. So, next steps. We will be having surveys. <laughs> there will be a survey to all the conference attendees. Every one of you, we're going to send out a survey and ask for all of your feedback. And on top of that, we're going to be asking all of you and Ross, everyone on Ross users to help us plan for the next RossCon. That includes time and location, so if you're asking myself or Brian or anyone as we walk out, this was awesome. When, it, when and where is the next conference going to be so I can book my plane tickets in advance? Um, we don't know right now. But we're going to get your input because it's very important for us to, uh, you know, to get that ahead of time. Also, the common question for everyone and possibly those of you watching, on the live stream who may have missed a few things is when, are, when and where are the videos going to come out. Um, this is the where. They will be on the OSRF Vimeo page. In terms of when, we don't know. Um, but last, last year it took us about three weeks. So please don't ask us. We will try to move them as fast as possible. But just for your, for your planning, your, your weekend binge watching on Netflix, um, <laughs> now you can get the Roscon videos in there. Just We'll let you know in a, a bit time. So, yes, you either uh, keep an eye on Ross users' mailing list or you can continue to obsessively check the Roscon website for the next several weeks. Either or works for us. And how can we help? So this, is, this, is, um, this has been a question. How can people help out with Roscon or Ross in general, aside from continuing to push back pull requests and bug fixes and um, close your questions on Ross answers, by the way? 
um, so help out there. But in terms of Roscon and this more general community, if you're interested in being and participating in the org committee, um, which was which is Brian Tully. Um, Sebastian and myself on the program committee, which had a number of other people, they just review papers. Um, if you want to take on the very significant task, but still very appreciated task of being the local chair, uh, please let us know, info at osrfoundation.org. Also, ROSCON is the biggest and the most official ROS event, but there are ROS meetups globally, um, completely worldwide. So, you know, if, let the OSRF know that you're running these things, and at the very least, we will send you a bunch of stickers.